You've got to be made of stronger stuff to see it through the day here at Fit Show. Uh, thankfully, Luke from Metador, and Metador itself is made of stronger stuff. Luke, thanks for joining us. Tell us a bit about, about Metador and what it does, who it does it for. Okay, well, I think you, you said it earlier in terms of made of stronger stuff. That's what we are about. Um, there's lots of steel door manufacturers. We are focused on making our doors of a premium quality, uh, stronger of stronger stuff, but also um, being able to provide any customised steel door solution. Um, so we are looking at anything all the way from security through to acoustic, thermally rated doors. Yep. Um, so there's quite a range we've got here on, on the stand. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at some of those, but it's it's very much the kind of bespoke end of the market that, that you work in, is that fair to say? We, we do indeed. Um, however, obviously we, we look at anything right the way from standard uh, fire exit doors that you would have on the back of an industrial unit, but all the way through to uh, more bespoke uh, doors, also into the residential markets as well. So. Well, I'll tell you what, follow me, because we're going to go through to a very famous uh, looking door first of all which I guess kind of fits both into the uh, residential market uh, but, but, but also into maybe the corporate market as well. Uh, we've got number 10 here tell me tell me a bit about number 10 Luke. Well there's probably quite a bit to say about number 10 over the last 12 <laughs> months. Um, yeah this is a door which attracts a lot of attention as you can imagine um, especially anyone passing the stand so it's a uh, this is actually what we call up our Defender Deco Guard door. Now that is manufactured using, um, which is done on a punch press, which we create Georgian style, Victorian style doors, um, with a lot of detailing. It, we can have you can have a ladder design door, you can have uh, tongue and groove finished doors, um, and that is simply just by press creating that that groove, which just gives sort of the residential and top end feel. Um, it looks like a modern take on that classic. When you, when you get closer up to it, you aren't disappointed that it's not the authentic kind of panel look, but actually it, it looks very interesting because of that press. Yes, yeah, absolutely it does. Um, this door also is what we, we call our PAS 24 rated door set. So it's called our PAS guard, Defender PAS guard. Yep. Um, so that is, has been tested to, to that rate and yeah, something we're seeing a lot, lot of uh, a lot of doors being required, especially in the residential markets. Indeed, indeed. Uh, you got some digital integration with this door here as well. Yeah, access controlled. So yeah, it's an automatic locking door with a automatic deadlock, um, which is just a with a quick override of the um, also a key turn inside. Now, many of those features, if we just go around the corner, follow me, many of these features are also available in this very different door. Talk to me about this. Yes, OK, so this door here was manufactured following, obviously, the over the last 12 months, we've seen a lot more requests um, and requirements for thermally rated door sets. Um, and I suppose that says everybody is becoming more aware of the general climate and what we can do in terms of our uh, sustainability and, and how we can help. So this is manufactured to, this actual door set is manufactured to a 1.5U value door. We have also had passed and tested to 1.4U value door, which is UCAS approved. So um, great door system. The, if you open the door here, we have got, you'll have to see, It's very, very well locked. We talk about security. There we go. What are we seeing here? So what you'll find here is obviously you've got a 60 mil door leaf. And on the, within the frame profile itself, you have got Come here. Um, perforations in the, in the door frame. This is what is actually allowing um, the break, if you like, um, or creating sort of the thermal breaks yeah. so that there is a, a reduction of um, in essence, the thermal coming through, heat coming through the door set, um, which is just, in essence, is slowing the whole thing down. So becoming very, very popular, especially in the modular market, um, people building modular cabins. Um, and obviously with Scotland, they request is for a 1.4 U value door. Um, and that is why we have now just produced the 1.4 U value. And that has also been 
um, approved just only in the last two weeks. So, yep. very good. It's, that's a, yeah, an excellent step forward for us. Congratulations. It's only that point one of a U difference, but uh, like you say, different different regulations in, in different nations. That, that does make all of the difference. Uh, thank you very much for showing us around your stand here. Uh, but before we go, Luke, I should say this is your first time at FIT show. I think 40% of exhibitors here at 2023, this is their first time. It's the largest FIT show ever. What is it that made you want to uh, dip your toe in? Well, you've done far more than dip your toe in, you know, to have a, a really deep presence here this year. Why now? Well, I just feel the last, the last three months we have been to, we started off in March at the Future Build show. We, we did last month, we did the security event here at the NEC. Um, and this felt like a, a, a good event to be at where we've got a lot of the trades um, and the fitters that are coming to these, this show. And that, that's what we are all about. We sell, we manufacture doors, we don't install. So we sell to the fitting teams um, and that's why it makes sense for us to be here. Been very pleased with the uh, response. I think it's been an excellent show so far and we hope it continues. Well, we hope to see you back in 2025. Uh, but for now, Luke, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you. Thanks.